Chapter 1, Section 5, Learning Target 3 asks you to explain how understanding braking distance relates to safe driving. I would like you to take a moment to watch this video. It is approximately three minutes long. There is a graphic scene of a motorcycle crash, um, but I think it is an important video to watch to understand the idea of braking distance and driving safely. If the video will not play here, then copy down the YouTube link at the top of the page and go to that website. Return here after you have watched the video. After viewing the video, answer these two questions. How is braking distance a factor in this crash? And what is the relationship between speed and braking distance? Pause this video while you answer those questions, please. It's important to understand the relationship between velocity and braking distance. Braking distance or displacement remember, is related to the square of the velocity. That means if you were going to double your speed, you don't have double the braking distance, you actually have four times the braking distance. Likewise, if you decreased your speed to one-third the original speed, you would decrease the braking distance to one-ninth of the original braking distance. Slower speeds require a much shorter braking distance, and that has a direct impact on safe driving. As a reminder, you can also show the displacement, velocity, and acceleration in graphs to see the relationship between displacement, velocity, and acceleration. Remember that braking distance or displacement can be found using the velocity time graph by doing the area of the triangle. The greater the velocity, the longer it's going to take to stop, the greater the displacement is going to be. Right, so as we in keep increasing the velocity, we increase that area of that triangle, that increases the braking distance or displacement. As a reflection for this learning target, Please complete three, these three items. One, justify the use of speed limits on U.S. roads. Why do we need them? Number two, why must drivers be aware of road conditions and following distance? And number three, choose a reflection starter and in words and pictures complete that reflection. The reflection starter should be found in somewhere in the front of your binder. Thank you very much.